I'm going to show you how to make a Snapchat geo filter, which puts a fence around a certain area so that when a Snapchat user is in that area, he or she has the option to use that filter in that location. So as you'll see, I just Googled how to make a Snapchat filter, and I'm going to click on this first option, geo filter Snapchat. Snapchat gives you a couple options. You can either pay for one if you're a brand or a business. You'll see to the left, community, that's what I'm going to use. So I'm from Pensacola, Florida. I'm going to create a geo filter for Casino Beach, which is on Pensacola Beach. This gives you the specifications for your geo filter. You'll notice that it has to be transparent. The file dimensions should be 1080 pixels by 920 pixels. The file size has to be under 300 kilobytes. I'll show you how to set that up in the next tutorial and how to save it so that your file size is small enough in kilobytes. For now, I'm just going to click Next and show you how to create the geofence. So in the search, I'm going to put Pensacola Beach, Florida. Here we go. So the map is a little bit sensitive. You have to sort of click and drag, and it's a bit slow. So I'm going to click and drag. And then I'm going to use my mouse to zoom in, use the scroll feature on my mouse to zoom in one time. Oops, I zoomed out. So I'm going to slowly zoom in. Again, there's a little bit of a lag time. Just using my mouse to scroll. You want to zoom in as much as you can to be as accurate as possible. So you'll see now that I'm at that zoom level, Casino Beach shows up here. To zoom one more time. Once you have the view that you want, then you're going to click click on map to draw. Don't do it beforehand or it won't let you scroll and zoom. So I'm going to click on this and then I will start. You can lay down four points. I'm going to start right here. Drag. I'm not clicking. I'm just going to click out here in case people are on the shore snapchatting, which they might be. I'll click here go to about here and then finally meet my first anchor point and you'll see the area gets sort of shaded once you've completely drawn your fence around it you'll notice over to the right I'm going to upload my image obviously I need to create that image so we will come back to this area in the next tutorial and also in the next tutorial, what I'll show you how to do is set up your file in Photoshop. You'll notice in the upper right, you can download the Photoshop template. I had some troubles downloading it, so I'm just going to manually set up my file in Photoshop, and I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial.